Hey, Coach Peterson, uh, Summer League Media Days here. It's exciting, so that means we're getting ready for the season. You have so many Nebraska ties that if people really kind of dug in like I did, I guess, they would know. But let's start with the players first. Mayum Boom, Jake Brack. Both of them, Nebraska players, talk to me about them and their development so far. Yeah, I would say start with Boom, um, yeah. true senior now, or, well, yeah. fifth-year senior, I guess. Is COVID? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. even know. We'll have to go back and check that. He has um, eligibility he left. Has one year left, and he cannot play another year. Um, Boom is a tremendous leader. I, I would say he's by far the best leader in our program, uh, probably one of the best teammates. You know, played behind an all-league guy type last year, Lahat Chun. Um, Lahat had a really good um, season, and Boom just kind of played right behind him. So just didn't probably get the minutes that he wanted, but I think he really developed playing behind him and getting to go against him every day at practice. Um, Boom has taken the next step as far as, like, scoring with his back to the basket. Um, I think his body's a little bit different now, and he's just mature. Like, to have an older guy like that in your program, um, we're ready for him to take the next step for sure. And then Jake, yep. he played some last year for you, played almost every game last year, and kind of now, hey, all right, sophomore year, this is what it felt like in the first year, and now you develop more. Yeah, I have high expectations for Jake. Um, I would say with Boom, you know, he's more of a five, mm -hmm. where Jake played the five last year, yeah. but now he's probably going to play more four than five, right, because right. we have some bigger players at the five that, and more depth at the five. Um, you know, Boom. Screen and roll guy, back to the basket a little bit. Jake can do a little bit of everything. I think his outside outside game's really developed. Um, he's making threes. He can put the ball on the floor now a little bit. I would say um, he can score a little bit with the back to the basket, but more so a perimeter guy. And he's just like the toughest dude on our team, right? <laughs> yeah. um, I think he gets hurt in some way, shape, or form every practice because he plays so hard. And then the next practice, he just tapes it up and he's ready to go. So um, plays really, really hard. Just he's our we call it Gata, get after their butts. Yeah. Um, Jake is our our Gator guy of the team. Yeah. Yeah. And then you guys are playing Nebraska this year, so it'll be a little bit of a homecoming for your assistant coach, Brandon Ubo, uh, who's an assistant for you guys and played at Nebraska. So how'd that game kind of get in the works? Yeah, so obviously I didn't schedule it because of Brandon, right? right? Uh, it's cool that Brandon played there right. and he gets to return there, but Boom's from Lincoln. Yeah. And everywhere I've been, we've tried to play games where kids are from, right? right? Last time I was here, we played in at Gonzaga because we had a kid from Seattle, you know, just trying to get closer to home. Mm -hmm. And when Nebraska approached us, I thought it was a no-brainer for us. And uh, another connection is there's their point guard, Raleigh. Yeah, Raleigh played um, at Utah. That's I recruited right. him you to Utah that. State, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. and really close with him and his family. So, And then Tristan Simpson, yeah. our former point guard yes. at South Dakota, is one 2016 of Lincoln North Star, still the, the only Division I player uh, to come out of Nebraska out of high school was Tristan Simpson to you guys when you were at South Dakota. Good to know. So Tristan's, so there's a lot of connections, right? Um, we always want to play Midwest teams if we right. can. We put Iowa this year too. Um, but if we can take a bus trip and play somebody in the Midwest, we're going to do it. And it's just great that the connections kind of line up. Yeah. And then Dwight Smith is new on your staff. He's former Ralston, or Ralston grad, played at Colorado State. Was it McCook, Junior College? I mean, he's kind of been around, and Dwight's a name I guess I'd recognize if old heads would, would know. And how much has he brought to your staff? Yeah, Dwight, I love having him around. Um, Omaha guy and played for Tim Miles yeah. and Craig Smith at right. Colorado State. So there's the connection right there. And um, knew him a little bit. He was at Salt Lake Community College. Yeah. I was at Utah and Utah State and just have always known Dwight. Um, but just different dynamic. Um, the players love him. I think he's a player's guy. Um, he's really tight with those guys. Um, he's a workout guy, loves being in the gym and working players out and just brings a presence in Omaha. Nebraska is a really important area for us to recruit. You know, having guys like Tyler Hagedorn and yeah. Tristan Simpson, the last time when we won the league, we got to get back in there and try to recruit the best players.